Okay, Adam and the ants, plastic surgery. You've got to start with a lot of filth in this one. But first, let's talk about the base, right? So the base does, you know the song, that's why you're here. So the base starts with the, the D flat and the G, right? So we're not playing like a, a power chord, we're flattening the fifth, so it goes. We do the same on the G. Then we go to the F sharp, we play the octave. G and then the octave, that's the riff. D flat to G. G to D flat. F sharp to G flat to the octave. Push it forward to G. Okay, right, so that's the bass. Now you can hear that going throughout. Now, the guitar, you have the option to do a similar chord. You can, if you want, but I don't think that's what he's doing. I think he's just playing the power chord. Let me move it a bit. The D flat power chord, however, with the first finger over the sixth and fifth string. And how you play it is on the one and two, you play the low part of the string. And on the three and four, strings uh, four, three, two. So you go six, six, five, four, uh, four, three, two. Do the same on the G, six, five, four, four, three, two. Pull it back a fret. And the G. So that's for the, the start. So my neighbors are going to be loving this. Lots of filth. Very heavy. It's even more distorted than this on the record. Now when we come to the speeding up part, let me just switch the effect. <laughs> Let's go clean. Alright, we go to a B. It's very quiet, but it'll have to do, I'm afraid. So we go to a B and we go. Each bar of the four beats gradually increase the tempo, okay? Right, uh, so we'll call that a pre-chorus, then your verse is the same chords as, as the start, right? But All down strums, remember punk? Pretty much all down strums. Hear a lot of Nirvana in there, you know, so you can see where like that sort of sound is influenced by these guys, you know. Right, and then your chorus is the trickiest part, okay, because it's fast and there's a lot of movements, okay, so let me break it down. We've got a D flat, okay, to a B, to an A, right, so we'll go from the ninth fret on the sixth, to the seventh, to the fifth, right, and our rhythm is one, two, three, and, 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 and three, and four, and. Right, so let me just play that for you because I'm just reading off the thing. So I break it down very slow for you and I'll do it in the count in a second. So it's Let's do the downs and ups first. So it's down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. Or in our count, we'll have one, two, three, and four, and one, and whoa, and let me 
do that again, that was crap. So one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, I'll try that again. So there's one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Totally bit. Then we'll go for another verse and the pre chorus and the verse and the pre chorus of course and then the solo. Solo is just unison bend. Is that right? Yes, it's okay. So we'll go from unison bend. So what we'll do is we'll use our first finger as our guide finger. The nine on the two uh, with the first finger. Third finger on the eleven of the three. Put your second finger behind it to help you bend it up. Unison bend. Aim for the same sound, but you know, be a little bit dissonant. Don't try and get it exactly right. A little bit of dissonance, it's quite nice. So we're just going to take that shape and use our first finger as our guide. So we're going from the 9, to the 12, to the 14, to the 17. And two on there, we do that four times. Whoops! Okay, then we're going on a little Chuck Berry lick. Okay, first finger on the 11 of the 3, second finger on the uh, 12 of the 2, and just on the 1. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and slide and 2 and 3 and 4 and slide and 2 and 3 and 4 and just slide just before the word. Um, yeah, so I think it just does it twice. It does it on like, the third bar and the fourth bar. Like yeah, I've, I've just done this now. Uh, I listen to the song, I do it, and you know, I give it to the student, move on. So that's all your bits. Oh, yeah, and Paul was asking about how to sort of knock out all that, right? So use this part of your, of your thumb. On the six five four, just for the rest, and you've muted it. Can't hear it. Aim for the three, three and two. Now you can angle that second finger so it doesn't hear the first string. And you can hit it as hard as you want. So, like I say, I've, I've not put the filth back on, but the first part is. Three chorus again. Chorus. Shit. Remember, I get those triplets in. See if I do the chorus. And we're ending. Four bars. Adamant's shagging the floor by that point on the video that I used, so good on him. All right, plastic surgery, brilliant lyrics as always. Um, <clears throat> the next one will be Deutsche Girls, I believe it's the B side.
at this one. I'm going to do that in a couple of weeks. Um, you can see one of my students is doing the whole back catalogue. Not from start to finish, he's just picking and choosing which one he wants to do. But I guess over the next year or so, we'll have them all done. So if you're an Adamant fan, uh, please subscribe and they'll be coming up as I do them. <coughs> um, I'm an online guitar teacher, so if you would like face-to-face -face classes, use the link in the description below. Failing that, just like and subscribe. Failing that, just enjoy the video and have a lovely day.